Hey everyone, welcome back to Slide Uplift. Today, we're designing a beautifully animated thank you slide in PowerPoint using a paper folding reveal effect. It looks super sleek and is perfect for ending your presentation with style. Stick around, let's get started. Step one, set the background with gradient. Let's start with a blank PowerPoint slide. Right click on the slide and select format background. In the Format Background pane, choose Gradient Fill. Under Direction, select a diagonal angle that suits your layout. Remove any extra gradient stops. We'll keep it minimal. For each remaining gradient stop, click on Color greater than more colors. Enter your desired hex code. Repeat this step for all stops to create a smooth gradient flow. Set the angle to around 20 degrees and close the background pane. Step two, create the thanks text cutout. Insert a text box and type thanks in uppercase. Change the font to something bold and impactful. Change the font color to white for better contrast, then increase the size. From the Shapes menu, draw a rectangle over the text. Select both the text and the rectangle. Go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes, Fragment. This will slice the text out of the rectangle. Delete all extra fragments and keep only the letters. Right-click on each individual letter. Go to Format Object Greater Than Effects Greater Than Drop Shadow. Set transparency to 50%, blur to 20%, and distance to 15 point to create soft depth. Adjust letter layering. Right click each letter and bring to front if needed. Place them side by side with consistent spacing. Select all the letters, press Ctrl plus G to group, and center align it. Step 3. Apply gradient fill to the text with the group selected. Go to Shape Fill greater than Gradient Fill. Again, open more colors and enter hex codes to match your theme. After applying the colors, ungroup the letters. Under Gradient Fill Settings, set the type to rectangular. Step 4. Create the curved paper flap. Insert a rectangle shape on the left half of the slide. Right-click and choose Edit Points to manipulate its shape. Add a point on the center of the edge and drag it to create a curved, organic slit. Apply the same gradient fill style, but change the direction to 270 degrees for contrast. Add a drop shadow to create depth. Step 5. Duplicate and style the curved flaps. Hold Cutrel plus Shift and drag the shape to create a duplicate. To match the gradient and shadow styling perfectly, select a styled letter. Select the shape and press Ctrl plus Shift plus V to paste the style. Make one more duplicate and tweak its drop shadow and gradient direction for subtle variation. Step 6. Group and mirror the flaps. Group all curved flap shapes using Ctrl plus G. Duplicate the group, then rotate the new group to mirror it horizontally. Bring the two groups together. This forms the center slit for the folding animation. 
Group both sides together and stretch it to cover the entire slide. Step seven, finishing touches before animation. Now that the fold-out effect is ready, ungroup the duplicated group. On the right side flap shapes, adjust the angle of the drop shadows to match the new orientation. Step eight, animate with morph transition. Duplicate the entire slide by pressing Ctrl plus D. On the second slide, drag the right flap shapes to the far right. Drag the left flap shapes to the far left. This reveals the thanks word behind the flaps. Add a short lorem ipsum text box and center align it below thanks. On slide one, move the lorem text just off the slide so it slides in later. Select both slides, go to the Transitions tab, and apply the Morph Transition. And there you have it, a stunning animated thank you slide with a paper folding effect in PowerPoint. Scan the QR code on the screen to download them instantly. Join our channel for exclusive perks like free templates every month, huge discounts on premium designs, and early access to new content. And of course, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.